Hi, I'm Kate Hemmings and I'm pleased to welcome you to the October issue of Quick and Crafty magazine. I'm joined by Corinne Brad, who's going to be demonstrating one of her favourite projects from this issue. Hi Corinne. Hello Kate. Now, before you demonstrate a project, you've got another favourite to I show have me, haven't you? I have a real favourite. This has been made by Amanda Walker. And she's used the crystallised Swarovski elements They're in this beautiful, beautiful piece of they? bling. Look at that. I'm demonstrating the ring Yeah, there. I've noticed you've managed to I've filch that already. I'm going to have that. It's but this lovely. is really lovely. I love it. Look at the crystals on that. The shine on them is amazing, isn't it? And jewellery fans will be really excited to hear that we've got a free 36-page magazine which features seven projects using the crystallised Swarovski elements. So definitely look out for that one. Mm. Um, now, I also really love this project here, mainly because I've got a fixation with shoes, it has to be said. And I they thought are it was your fixation with line dancing that well, appealed. Well, that as well, but you can't do it about the shoes, can you, Corey? <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. No, they are great. Elizabeth Mode has made these, and she's used some lovely vibrant colours and mixed it with some great snakeskin effect papers. There's some lovely stitching on there. I do like this handbag one, again, with the snakeskin. And talking about handbags, there's a great feature in the magazine, this issue, about how to make your own handbags. So if you're into doing something a bit different, have a look at that. Definitely. There's also a brilliant feature on dressmaking, as well as the opportunity to win one of three Brother sewing machines. So definitely look out for that. There's loads of other giveaways as well. It's very exciting. Mm. Well, the sewing machine would come in handy to make this lovely pinny. I love this. I mean, well, you know we've always got a, a project about food. Foodie fans over here. <laughs> um, and yet again, we've got something with a bit of a, a cake theme, cookies and cupcakes over here. This is by Sally Southern, isn't it? Yes, I believe so, yeah. And this is such a lovely sort of retro vintage apron. I, I want, think it's beautiful. but it doesn't go around my waist, unfortunately. It barely <laughs> goes around my thigh. You have to make one of your own. <laughs> um, and we also really like this recipe book here that's held together by this beautiful little button. It's got some beautiful recipes in it. The other nice thing, actually, also, if you've got a friend's birthday coming up and they're a bit of a foodie fan, is rather than make them just a bog standard card that they'll go, oh, very pretty, thank you very much, and it goes in the box, make them a recipe card book because you can put all the decoration on the cover, leave them blank pages for them to fill in, but you could, you know, decorate the pages so they can fill them in themselves. And it's a nice keepsake. Put pretty a loop on it, they can hang it in the kitchen. I really beautiful. like that idea. Now, as much as I love the projects, I'm a little bit excited about this funky gadget here. What can you tell me about this? Well, this is a fist guard, the shape cutter, and we have a, a, a shape cutter itself, which is quite an alien looking object, but it's really cool. Um, you use it with these templates, of which we have three. Um, there's floral elements here. You've got um, bugs and butterflies. And we've also got a Christmas one, which okay. it may seem early, but I know people that it's are making their Christmas cards. It's never too early to start making Christmas cards. But what you use is, when you've taken the protective cover off the fifth guard shape cutter, is you simply guide it around the template on top of your card. And it has a... a a turny blade for a want of a better expression that turns around and cuts the shapes out for you so no more fiddly really cutting really easy straightforward yeah. and that's a subscription gift that's a subscription this gift this, this so look month look out yes. for that on the subscription pages of your magazine now onto the demonstration yeah, what are you showing Kathy us today Shuttleworth has made these these are great little butterflies three dimensional butterflies simply made by um, origami type folding um, she's great at paper cut sculpture actually Cathy she's made some really Colours beautiful, are beautiful. yeah I love these and I looked at it and I thought, ooh, I don't know how you make that, but it is really, really easy. So I'm just going to show you now how you do it. Okay. Um, here's a template that I've cut. Um, now, I've cut these because it's got the guidelines on it. I'm not sure how the templates appear in the magazine. Okay. Um, but I would imagine what they'll do is they'll show you where the fold lines are on it. So they'll indicate where you need to fold. Yeah. Now, I've found the easiest way of doing this. If you lay this down on your paper, draw around it with a nice sharp pencil and before you lift the template away what I want to do is just mark the ends of these guidelines. Is that double sided paper or are you drawing pattern It is, side no up? it is double sided paper. Okay. Um, I'm drawing pattern side up because what I will do is I'll be cutting away the, the pencil but I need to make the folds on this side of the paper so that okay. they bend outwards. So I'm just going to make lines here where the end of each of these folds come and then I'm going to show you how clever Cathy is because she's managed to line these up so that it really is dead easy to get the correct angles on this paper. Her projects are always so inventive, oh, aren't they? they the are. things they're she comes up really with cool. paper are amazing. So if you take it away, if you line up the centre mark from the top wing with the centre mark from the bottom wing, and I'm not going to draw a line, I'm going to score a line. Okay. Score it through the middle. Do the same with the other side. It's exactly the same. The only problem with glitter paper is your ruler will tend to get stuff on the glitter. It hasn't got <laughs> as, as good a grip, has it? It's on not the, as smooth. But it does look really pretty, so it's worth right, it. Right, that's actually the centre point of your butterfly. Right. So with this tab here that you need, you can go from the edge of the butterfly up to the centre point, and that's exactly the right place. Perfect. And then you need to 
take the two bottom, sorry, two top marks of the bottom wing and join them up, but only go as far as that first score line. Yeah. Not the whole way across. And then from where that intersection is there, go down to this other mark here. And that means that you'll be able to fold it if you've got an arrowhead shape. But it's rather than wonder about what angle you do your score lines, if you just join up these two marks here, mm -hmm. then it will give you the joining place for the other marks. So the key is accurate scoring on yeah. this one. Yeah. Well, you say accurate scoring. To be honest with you, even if you muck it up, you can still get quite a good effect because I did okay. a couple of... Uh, that I didn't quite know what I was doing originally. Corinne Brad, that's Story of my true, life, surely. actually. <laughs> So if you do that, take a nice sharp pair of paper scissors and cut out your outline very, very quickly. I'll tell you what, my cutting out has become faster and faster these days. You're just a crafting whiz. Well, yeah, but it's not overly accurate, in all honesty. If you um, don't manage to cut the pencil marks away, I mean, you can just rub them away with a soft eraser and that's not a problem at all. Yeah, you were saying about this being double-sided paper, it is quite nice. Actually, snakeskin again. Very in, obviously. It is very in. Isn't it funny how things sort of tend to go around in trends like um, Oriental stuff and then, you know, the Western, mm -hmm. this sort of design. I've just I, been seeing buttons everywhere at the moment. Well, I mean, a lot of it does take its inspiration from the catwalk. Whatever's, mm. you know, popular at the moment in clothes-wise. Tends to I've be said reflected this before, in the craft it, does, world. it is reflected in the craft world, which is a good thing. And it does mean that there's always new designs coming onto the market. You're never stuck. You know, if you get bored with the, the supplies that you've got at home, for a relatively small amount of money, you can go out and give yourself a bit of a fix. Yeah, definitely. Um, and us crafters need our fix, let's be honest. Yes. Right, hold on. I have nearly done this. I wish I, was, I wish I was ambidextrous with scissors, because there are times when cutting a curve in one direction is a lot easier than cutting a curve in the other direction. Never mind. Right, let's just cut these interiors out here. And then I will show you the magic fold. The magic fold. And I'm intrigued I'm already. What you do quite simply as well when I'm cutting you, you'll see on Kathy's ones that she's got um, antennae and a body which you've made simply from strips of paper held on with double sided tape. Um, the full instructions for that will be in the magazine. Okay. Okay. So if you fold your butterfly diagonally. Okay. Unfold it. Fold and it again. Fold it diagonally again. Okay. And then what you need to do is this end bit will actually pop in the other way. So if you just manipulate it... Oh, I see. ...along the other score lines, the mini miniature score lines that you've got... That creates a really pretty pops, little effect, yeah. doesn't it? And it just gives it a 3D touch. And then the, real, the, the way that you really get the 3D is by sticking the tab in a sec, which I will do with a piece of double-sided tape. And I guarantee to you that it will take me five minutes to find the end of the tape. Okay. Oh. Small piece of tape on the tab. Oh, Kate, okay. why well, have I never got any nails? Because you're a crafter. Yes, because you can't I'm have long nails to be crafting. You can't craft in a hurry. That's the other thing I've also decided. But crafters are ever resourceful, as we're demonstrating yes. now. And trying not to cut my fingers off at the same time. Yeah, we need, you we need your fingers. Piece of double-sided tape. If you, you then bend that tab up and you stick it together that way... Okay. ...then you've got the real... That is really effect. pretty. That's brilliant. And they I'm come really out. Impressed. They come out. I say I was quite pleased with how they came out. Gorgeous. I like that idea. As well. I'm quite impressed yeah. by that as well. Thanks for that, Corinne. Garden, That's great. Definitely, really summery as well, beautiful. Thanks, Corinne. That's all we've got time for here today. But when you've finished reading your magazine, come along to www.chrisandcrafty.com for all the latest competitions and free downloads. See you next time.